Anyway, this is a fun little book by uh, Barbara Maitland and pictures by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Called the Bookstore Burglar. <laughs> Mr. Brown owned a store. It was just not any store. It was a bookstore. It was called the Black Cat Bookstore. It's the Black Cat Bookstore. Mr. Brown lived above the store with his cat named Cobweb. Cobweb was just not any cat. Her best friends were mice. Her favorite food was cheese. Every morning, Mr. Brown and Cobweb ate cheese for breakfast. Then they went downstairs to open the store. It's like he's getting ready for Halloween or something with those cute, that cute, cute little uh, tie with ghosts on it. And I love this little mug here with the cat on it. And they're eating cheese. The Black Cat Bookstore was just not any bookstore. It sold only ghost books. It even had a ghost. You see the ghost in the picture? Yeah. Looks like it might be scaring some of the people that come into the store. Cobweb liked to walk around the store. She helped Mr. Brown keep an eye on things. One day, Cobweb saw something strange. The spare key was not on its hook. Then, Cobweb saw a man with the key. He was putting it in his pocket. Can you see, can you see where the spare key was supposed to be? And the man putting it in his pocket. Oh, what does this mean? The man walked towards the door. Only Cobweb knew what he had done. Stop him, Cobweb said to the ghost. He's a burglar. Cobweb running after the burglar. Bang! A book dropped on the man's head. Ouch! He yelled. Everyone came to see what had happened. Cobweb stayed beside the empty hook. She meowed, but Mr. Brown didn't notice her. Look at Cobweb. It's bare key. It's bare key. <laughs> Oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Brown told the man. My ghost made a mistake. What ghost, said the man. This bookstore has a ghost, said a boy. It's a friendly ghost. Ah, I don't believe in ghosts, said the man. And he left the store. Mr. Brown was busy all day. He did not notice the empty hook. At the end of the day, he closed the blinds, then he locked the door. He's locking the door. Cobweb the cat. Something on his mind. Cobweb mewed. She jumped up by the hook. She patted it. I'm too tired to play, said Mr. Brown. I'm going upstairs. Cobweb trying to give the message about the spare key missing. Cobweb stayed downstairs. She thought the burglar might come back. It grew darker and darker. Then she heard a key in the lock. That must be the burglar, said Cobweb. Are you ready, ghost? Ghost must be hiding. The burglar tiptoed across the store. He had a flashlight. Bang! A book fell off the shelf beside him. Oh, I don't believe in ghosts, said the burglar. It's a good burglar going do 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 do. Book going bang on the floor. Cobweb shook the blinds with her paws. Rattle, rattle, rattle. The burglar dropped his flashlight. Nice ghosty, he said. 
little thing in the blinds there. Little web. Oh, I see the ghost. Now I see the ghost. The ghost. Hiss cobweb. Bang went the books. Rattle, rattle went the bang blinds. Help! Yelled the burglar. Can you see who's who's shoving the books off the shelves there? Can you see all the little mice doing that? Those mice. Those friends of the cat. They're helping to scare that burglar. Mr. Brown came downstairs. What's all the noise? He asked. He turned on the light, saw the burglar. Your ghost is not friendly, yelled the burglar, and he ran out of the store. Doesn't look like he got anything. Mr. Brown saw the spare key in the door. He saw the empty hook. So that's how the burglar got in, he said. You tried to warn me. Thank you, Cobweb. Thank you too, ghost, he told the mice. It's late. Everyone must be hungry. Everyone follow me. Look at there. Mr. Brown's thanking all the mice who really the, are the ghosts. <laughs> and there's the spare key. And so they go upstairs. Everybody goes upstairs. And what do you think Mr. Brown's going to feed them? Hmm? They went upstairs to the kitchen. Mr. Brown had a treat. It was not just any treat. It was a cheese treat. I hope you like it, he said. They did. There they are, all eating the cheese. Anyway, that's a cute little story. Don't know if it's still available from Scholastic, but it's here for Halloween. So happy Halloween, everybody. And don't eat too much candy. Maybe eat more cheese. Okay, bye for now.